Prophecy Confirmation And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. As they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and ye shall be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. Prophecy is the mind of God revealed unto humanity by the interpretation of his prophets. In the book of Amos number 3 verse number 7, the Bible says, For the Lord God does nothing unless he reveals it unto his servants the prophets. On the 21st of July 2020, God's servant Yamgela Joseph gave a prophetic word concerning the South African Chief Justice and that God was going to amplify his voice. In this prophetic word, the man of God made it clear that the hand of God was upon the Chief Justice of South Africa and he was going to be used as an instrument of change and an instrument to speak forth the word of the Lord and that the name of the Lord through him will be known all around the world. The prophecy goes like this. Take a look. Let us pray for the nation of South Africa and specifically the Lord has spoken to me that let us pray for the Chief Justice of South Africa. Now this is the word of the Lord that the Lord has given me concerning the Chief Justice of South Africa. Now the Lord says, I have seen him. My light has shone upon him. They will try to devour him, but they will never prevail against him. My horn is upon him. My scepter will be in his hand. And the Lord, and I the Lord will raise kings. And I the Lord, I humble kings. For I have found my servant, David, with my holy oil have I anointed him, and the enemy will not be able to touch him. My horn will be exalted in him. So will I raise him out of South Africa, the South African Chief Justice, that my light will shine on him over the nation even brighter than before. In an unexpected manner, I will redirect him and increase his burden for the nation. I will give him the hand to hold even when the nation is falling down. The eyes of the evil one have seen him, but he shall not be able to touch him. So I will increase the voice of the South African Chief Justice and table him in a place that is above his enemies. And I declare that tables will be shaken, foundations will be moved, and the nation will be shaken once again. I will do a sign in this nation, declares the Lord. As I did in America, unexpectedly, I shall raise a man from a, far, from a far country to save my people and save my peoples. So, the name of Yeshua might be known and honored amongst the people and the world at large will see South Africa as a light. I'm shaking governments and I'm, sh I'm changing regimes. I, the Lord, will do it. I shall hold the hands of my servant, declares the Spirit of the Lord. Now this might not be that clear, but it is clear that the Lord's hand is upon the Chief Justice of South Africa. 
Now the Lord says I shall increase his burden. That even in this nation as it happened in America, a voice of the Lord will rise. And through the chief justice, the nation shall also be saved. And the Lord says that the evil one have now identified him and looked at him. But the hand of the Lord is upon him and the horn of the Lord will rise upon him. And those who fight against him won't be able to stand against him. For the Lord has identified him and the Lord has sheeted him with bronze. He has made his forehead to be like the forehead of a diamond. He shall not be able to be crushed. They shall come against him, but they will not be able to stand because the one, Jehovah the Lord, Jehovah Almighty, he has made him to become a fortified city before them. He shall speak like Daniel. He shall stand as Daniel. Nevertheless, will the Lord rise him even to the highest seat of this nation. Let us pray for the Chief Justice of South Africa and let us pray for the nation of South Africa all together. Notice, in this prophecy, God's servant Yamgela Joseph prophesied, number one, the Lord was going to raise the voice of the South African Chief Justice. Number two, the nation was going to be shaken government will be shaken and the name of jesus will be known because of him number three the lord was going to use him as a light to increase the burden for the nation number four the nation was going to be saved because of him number five they were going to rise and fight against him but they will not prevail number six he would become like a Daniel to the nation. Number seven, prayers had to be offered for the chief justice and the nation at large. This is the prophecy the man of God gave concerning the South African chief justice, that these kind of things were going to come unto him. Six months later, after all the men of God has prophesied, the Chief Justice of South Africa came out live on news where he was featured praying against the COVID-19 vaccine and praying against the corruption in, this, in the nation. This began to break news all over the world. All news began to speak about this prayer of the Chief Justice that began to spark a dialogue and many people of the, of the nation began to speak about what the Chief Justice has done. Take a look at this. We'll start with this. The Chief Justice Mokhoeng Mokhoeng says there are no set rules on how a judge should behave. He's been defending a prayer against what he calls COVID-19 vaccines from the devil. The Chief Justice says he will not compromise his religion to please anyone and he will continue praying for what he believes in. Mahueng was giving the details of the 2019-2020 Judicial Annual Report, which was released earlier this week, but uh, predictably uh, that was uh, dominated by the uh, prayer controversy. Covering that story for us, back now in the newsroom, is reporter Slindelo Masakani, and he really was standing his ground today. I think in a word, uh, Jeremy, we could really describe his sentiments as unapologetic regarding that prayer that he said yesterday. But just to remind our viewers, let's take a listen to what he actually said in that prayer. I ask you to have mercy on South Africa, Father. This demon called COVID-19, Lord God Almighty, with the sword of justice you have given me, I slay this giant now in the name of Jesus. My father and my brother, the people of South Africa and Africa will not be killed in their numbers by this COVID-19. Just as you answered our prayers to cancel the over million graves that were dug to consume your people. Lord God Almighty, whatever face is said to be coming, Lord, I judge it. I run it down in the name of Jesus. I lock out every demon of COVID-19. I lock out any vaccine that is not of you. If there be any vaccine that is of the devil, meant to infuse triple six in the lives of people, meant to corrupt their DNA, any such vaccine, Lord God Almighty, 
may it be destroyed by fire. A very resolute and uh, combative posture yesterday. And what about today? Well, what we saw today from the onset, uh, Jeremy, in terms of his posture, uh, when he addressed the media briefing today, he was like, I am here to account for what I've said. I'm not trying to run away. And in essence, what he said, that, uh, what he said was that um, his sentiments or, or what he believes in is his absolute right. Um, it is enshrined in the Constitution that everyone, every South African, um, has the right to freedom of expression, free, freedom of opinion, uh, freedom of religion, and certainly freedom of thought. And just because he a member of the judiciary, um, he is not exempt from um, enjoying those rights that are enshrined in the Constitution. Also making reference to the preamble um, of our Constitution, that it does make reference to a prayer, saying that the national anthem itself um, is also a prayer. Let's take a listen. I'm crying unto God. Whether you call it politics or not, it's neither here nor there for me. And I won't stop doing it. I'm crying unto God. If there is any vaccine, I don't want it. I'm crying unto God for... This is the, the end time according to we Christians. So if there is any vaccine with triple six, I want God to destroy it. If there is any vaccine meant to, in, to corrupt the DNA of people, I'm asking God to interrupt with it. Any clean vaccine, they must produce it quickly. We, people need that for their own health. So if anybody's going, don't pray about against triple six. Don't pray against Satan. Don't pray against corruption of the DNA. Ah, they can criticize until, until, until. I'm not worried about that. And Slee, as this controversy rages, he says he was much misunderstood. He says he's been misunderstood and uh, saying that, you know, he didn't say that there was actually a vaccine that has been developed that has triple six. He says that if, uh, he said that he said that it, it's if there is a vaccine and that he is praying against any uh, form of a vaccine that's meant to harm um, uh, humankind. Um, and he also says that he takes issue with the fact that he's, um, you know, his words have just been taken out of context um, and that he did not say that there was, there was actual information that he had um, that was referred referring to the fact that there is a, an antichrist type of a vaccine. Let's take a listen. I, I, I don't know whether people honestly misunderstood what I said or deliberately misunderstood what I said. And maybe it's necessary to reiterate what I said. I said if there is any vaccine that is being manufactured to advance a satanic agenda, of the mark of the beast, triple six. If there is any vaccine that has been manufactured for the purpose of corrupting the DNA of people, that vaccine must be burned, it must die. God must intervene and destroy it. So anybody who supports a vaccine that uh, infuses triple six in the bodies of people, anybody who supports a vaccine that is meant to corrupt the DNA of people, I would understand if they, if, they raise, uh, if they raise an alarm. That's it. I want every corrupt thing to be destroyed. And if it is politics, it is the kind of politics that I'm happy to advance any time, anywhere. So people must come out. Do they support the satanic agenda? They must tell us why. They want us to have a triple six uh, mark. They must tell us why. I'm not saying all vaccines, and I never said. All vaccines are meant to advance their agenda. But if people want it to be made to look like, that's what I was saying, that's their problem. And, oh yes, uh, Slee, let's not forget about that annual report. Certainly, Jeremy. I mean, we, the, the whole media briefing was certainly um, overshadowed by his remarks from yesterday. But, of course, um, as the media, we did um, ask him around the uh, judicial annual report. And um, overall, the uh, Chief Justice is satisfied with the work that's been done. Um, however, of course, the COVID-19 pandemic has had a, a, quite a, a rough effect in, in terms of the work of the judiciary. Uh, there seems to be a huge backlog when it comes to dealing with cases. And also 
also the pandemic also um, just showing that the judiciary needs to speed up the process in terms of um, ensuring that their work becomes digitized um, and moving into the area of ICT. So um, in terms of that, he says that uh, the judiciary is still busy compiling a report with regards to the effects of the COVID-19 um, pandemic on the work of the judiciary, but he says that the picture certainly does look bleak. All right, uh, Slindela Masakani, thank you very much indeed. Now Notice, in this prophecy, God's servant Yamgela Joseph prophesied, number one, the Lord was going to raise the voice of the South African Chief Justice. Number two, the nation was going to be shaken, government will be shaken, and the name of Jesus will be known because of him. Number three, the Lord was going to use him as a light to increase the burden for the nation. Number four, the nation was going to be saved because of him. Number five, they were going to rise and fight against him, but they will not prevail. Number six, he would become like a Daniel to the nation. Number seven, prayers had to be offered for the chief justice and the nation at large. This is the prophecy the man of God gave concerning the South African Chief Justice that these kind of things were going to come unto him. After all is said and done, Jesus remains on the throne with all power in his hand. The Bible says, so shall the world that comes out of the mouth of God it will never return to him void, but it shall surely accomplish what he has sent it to accomplish. We believe that everywhere that the Lord has spoken concerning the Chief Justice of South Africa will surely come to pass, and the nation of South Africa will see the mercy of the Lord. We continue to pray and stand with the Chief Justice and believe that everything that he has prayed about shall surely come to pass. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. Shalom. Thank you for watching Jesus Reigns TV. I believe that you are blessed by the testimonies, the teachings, and the prophecies that you keep getting into this channel. Remember, Jesus Reigns is only here to make sure that you, at, the, at your home, you are able to receive the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and to know the mind of God in the hour today. As many voices are speaking all over the world, it is very important to hear what the voice of the Lord is saying right now. Maybe you're sitting there at, the, at your home, watching or maybe you're watching through your phone or whatever medium you're using and you said in your heart i've seen the man of god preaching the gospel but i don't know jesus i've never met jesus and i would love to meet that jesus to come into my life right now if you don't know jesus christ i want to lead you to a prayer of salvation and the lord jesus will come to your heart and he will save you your sins will be forgiven and your life will be changed so make this prayer with me right now say lord jesus come unto my heart and change my life. I believe that you died and you resurrected. And today, because of your blood, I am saved. With my heart, I believe. With my mouth, I confess that you are the Lord over my life and the King of my salvation. Thank you, Jesus, for changing me in Jesus' name. Immediately, you have made this prayer. Now you are born again. Now you are a child of the kingdom of God. The Bible says we believe with our hearts, we confess with our mouth, and we are saved. Immediately, you have done this prayer. You have taken the best decision over your life. And right now, I want you to read the Bible and live by the word of the Lord. 
because the Bible is clear that he gave all of us to become the sons of God. And now you are the son of God. May the Lord bless you. Continue to watch Jesus Rain TV. Continue to click on the notification. Until I see you next time. Shalom. Shalom.